Common Ground is a grassroots movement fostering conversation among women from small towns to big cities. It's about farm women engaging with consumers everywhere, enlightening us about our food and food sources. America is not only the producer of the tastiest, but healthiest and safest food in the world, from healthy vegetables to healthy beef. U.S. agriculture remains number one. And with us today, Kelsey Pope, a multi-talented woman, is here to share the latest Common Ground from down the farm and the ranch. Kelsey, welcome. We're so glad to have you on the show. Thank you. You do it all. You're a mom, you're a rancher, you're a blogger. I want to know how you got into ranching and also know how your latest passion is really blogging. Tell me about those two things. I'm a fourth generation family rancher. My family raises Red Angus cattle on the plains of eastern Colorado and I ranch with my parents and my husband and my son who's hopefully the fifth generation. Wow. I started my blog actually when I was in college. My college roommate was a city girl and knew nothing about agriculture and she was really interested though and wanted to know a lot more and so I thought if she was really interested there's probably a lot of other people that are too. So I started my blog, Ag on the Forefront, simply answering her questions and it's really grown to be my passion just talking about agricultural issues as well as just life on the ranch. You're a rancher but you're also a volunteer for Common Ground. Tell me a little bit about that organization. Common Ground's a great organization. It allows for conversations for women from farms to cities about where our food comes from. The National Corn Growers Association, United Soybean Board, and their state affiliates all started Common Ground to give farm women and ranch women the opportunity right. to talk to our consumers about how we raise food. We're volunteer farm women from all across the country. We represent all facets of agriculture and we just want to be a resource because we're moms. We're putting food on the table just like everyone else and so we want to just be a resource to these consumers helping them answer questions because we know that there are things about raising food and, and labels on foods that they have questions and we don't want them to have fear in their food. And I love your, your slogan, you don't have to fear your food. Yes, that's right. Now, as a rancher, I want you to shed some light uh, for me and for our viewers about the use of antibiotics in cattle and what are the health benefits of that. Right, so on our ranch we have a herd health program and that starts with vaccines to prevent disease, but then just like we get sick, animals can get sick too. So sometimes it's necessary to treat them. Um, we'll give them an antibiotic for an injury or if they're sick from a bacterial infection. And this is the most common reason why any rancher would use antibiotics. We work closely with our veterinarian. We find out what's wrong with the animal and we follow the label and dosing instructions on the antibiotic, which are approved by the FDA. There are other forms of antibiotics that help animals to grow more efficiently, but the whole reason that we as ranchers use antibiotics is just to give, give us a healthy animal because we want to provide our consumers with healthy, safe, and nutritious beef. Sure, and so what role does the FDA play in the use of antibiotics? The FDA regulates the approval and use of all antibiotics in food animals. Um, there's a stringent process. It's the same testing for human medicine as it is for animal medicine. Wow. Each antibiotic has a withdrawal time, and that means from when they're given the antibiotic until it's out of their system. And the maximum time is 28 days. So the FDA assures us that our meat is safe, that there's gonna be no antibiotic residue. And that's really important to me as of a course. rancher because I want to continue continue to earn the respect and trust of not only our meat buyers, but also our consumers for all of us who we're providing safe, nutritious beef for. I hear you. Where does this misconception come from that ranchers or farmers are pumping you know, their cattle with antibiotics? So as a rancher, I take great pride in, in raising our animals. And if we don't take care of our animals, they're not going to take care of us. So our family's ranch is our business. It's our livelihood. And antibiotics can be expensive. So we're going to do everything possible to make sure that that animal is healthy. But never are we going to give them more than they need because right. it simply isn't a good business practice. And healthy animals are the basis of a healthy food supply. And it's my commitment to provide top-notch quality meat. And I want to continue to do that with top-notch animal care. And how can we keep our food safe if, say, some bacteria is resistant to the antibiotics? So I know this is an issue that some consumers are concerned about, but there's been no conclusive evidence showing that antibiotic-resistant bacteria comes from the meat that we eat. There are occasional cases of foodborne bacteria, and 
that can be killed by being cooked and handled properly. So if we are all making sure to cook our food thoroughly using a meat thermometer, um, keeping our cooked and raw food separate so that that bacteria doesn't transfer, and then also getting our fresh food and chilled food in the fridge as soon as possible really is our key to food safety. Well, Kelsey, thank you so much for stopping by and debunking some of those misconceptions mm -hmm. that are out there. And where can our viewers go to find out more about Common Ground? They can go to findourcommonground.com or to my blog, agontheforefront.com. Okay, great. Thanks for stopping by. Thank great you. Great information. Thank you. And if you'd like additional information on today's food topic, we invite you to visit us at thebalancingact.com or share your thoughts, ideas, or concerns at Facebook forward slash thebalancingact.com. Fans.